channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how I made this tri-colored hoop style earring. If you are interested in this tutorial, grab your thread and let's begin. For this project, I am using three different colors of embroidery floss. These I got from Walmart and a pair of one and a half inch hoops that I got from my local beauty store. I also have a, a needle to weave in my ends and my two millimeter crochet hook and some scissors. To begin, you wanna grab your first color. I'm starting with yellow and you wanna make a loop like so. Next, you're gonna pick up your hoop. I'm starting on this side with the latch and I will pull my loop under the hoop, <laughs> just like so. And attach my yarn, like that. Now I'll try, I'll work over my tail while working one single crochet around the hoop. One, one row of single crochet. So just like this. And you wanna make sure your stitches are not too loose, but at the same time, not too tight. You don't want them loose that they're falling off, but you don't want them too tight that you can't go through them to make another row, if that makes sense. Okay, so just like this covering the the entire uh, loop um, hoop with a row of single crochet so just like that while working over my tail because I don't want to have to sew that in later because it'll be very difficult to get a needle under these loops so it's better to work over your tail for up to a certain point and then you can cut it off, cut off the excess. All right, so this round is basically just repeating this until the hoop is completely covered with your first color. And I don't know if I just said this or not, but you don't want to pack too many too many stitches onto the hoop because you don't want them falling off but at the same time you don't want to make it too spaced out so you can see the hoop through your stitches so let me just finish this one all right so you want your stitches to just sit comfortably around the hoop like so. So not too tight together like this, but at the same time, not loose. So go ahead and complete your one row of single crochet all around the hoop up to about this point. You don't wanna take it all the way to the edge. Sorry, you don't wanna take it all the way to the edge because then there's a possibility that they might fall off onto this point. And we don't want that. So you want to stop maybe about here, just a little bit before the edge. So go ahead and complete that. And then I'll meet you when I get up to this point. And then we'll go from there. All right, so I have added my one row of single crochet along the perimeter of the, of the, um, the hoop. And now I need to decide where my petals are gonna go and how many petals I need to have on this. This is a smaller hoop. Um, so I can fit maybe one, two, I'll do three petals on this, on this hoop. I'll do two small ones and a big one. <clears throat> okay. So I am going to, let's see, I want my petals to start maybe about here. 
or maybe up here. Okay, so I guess you'll determine where you want your petals to start. You can have your petals coming from the very top. So if you start your petals up here, then you could fit maybe one, two, three, one, two. You could probably fit two over here and then one in the center, one large one in the center. If you wanted to do more than three. But for me, I want to start mine a little bit lower. And I only want to have three. So I'm going to start my petals. Let's see. The first one is going to start maybe about here. There's no real rhyme or reason to this. No, uh pattern that I'm following. I'm just, what did I say in my last video? Eyeballing it. I'm pretty much just winging it as I go. So I'm going to grab a contrasting piece of thread and I'm going to make some stitch markers. All right, so I know I want to start my petals right here. And just so it's even on the other side, I'm going to count how many stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on this side, I'm going to count down seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I know my petals, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My petals will end right there, just so I have the same the same amount on both sides. That's probably the most of my counting for stitches will be. Okay, so now I need to find the center of my hoop. So with my needle or with a straight edge, I will just divide this in two. Like so. So I know the center of my middle petal will fall right about here. Okay. And at this point, I want to find the center of both these points. So I know my one petal will start here. I need to find the center where it will end, I guess. Okay, just trust the process. I know it sounds like craziness at this point, but trust the process. All right, so we found the center, or what looks like the center of the hoop itself. So I want to find the center between this point and this point. So between these points. And I'm pretty much going to eyeball it. So I'm thinking maybe about right here. Hmm. Okay. So I'll choose right here for my center point between these two points. If you want to be precise, you can count the stitches. Like count the stitches between these two points and divide it by two. For me, I'm not going to count because I don't want to. So I'm just going to pick a random point and put a stitch marker. Not a random, but a point that looks centered to me. So I don't want to move my, maybe I should have used the needle to mark the center point and not my hook so I could pull through my stitch marker, but I think this will, yeah, that works. All right, so I know first petal will start here and here. Middle petal will start here and now I need to decide where it's going to end. So on this side, I need to find the center point between that point and this point here. So again, I'm just going to wing it and see maybe about here. And like I said, if you want to be precise, all you got to do is just count the stitches between the two points and divide it by two to have an exact uh, measurement. And I'm just using my I guess I could move my needle now. 
or my hook and just use my crochet hook to pull up the space just trust the process guys just trust the process there is some method to my madness all right so right here will be one petal will start here and end here middle petal will start here and end here then next one will start here and end there see it's not as crazy as it looks all right so still working with yellow i'm going to make a chain chain one and now in these seven stitches over here i'm going to put one one single crochet in each stitch up to the stitch marker. So that's one. And when I get to the stitch marker, I am going to put one single crochet into that space. And now I'm going to chain five. You can put more chains than five if you want your petals bigger. Or you can put less if you want them smaller. Totally up to you. There's no real pattern here. We're just swinging it. Okay, so one, ay, ay, ay. two, three, four, and five. And let me see. Yeah, that looks decent. I'm just checking to make sure my it's not too stretched, like it has some loose looseness to it when I connect it. All right, so where the next stitch marker is, I'm going to connect with a slip stitch. Not a single crochet, but a slip stitch. And I'll just remove my stitch marker and slip stitch. And that will be where my first petal will sit. Right in that. Okay, so where my center petal is going to go. I have a huge space right there, so I am going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3. Gosh, this thread just keeps falling apart. I want to make sure I pick up all the... I don't miss any... Any of the strands. But it's 9 and 10. Okay. And then I'll connect it where my next stitch marker is. Right there. And connect with a slip stitch. Just like so. And then for my last little petal, I'm going to do a chain of five. Just like on the other side. One. Oh, this thread is giving me grief. Two. Three. Four and five. And I'll connect it where my last stitch marker is with a slip stitch. Or actually with a with a single crochet. Because that's what I did on the other side. And I just want to keep it consistent. Okay, so last one I connected with a single crochet. And then I'll single crochet in each of the next six stitches. So it mirrors what's on the other side. 
Not that anybody's going to come up to my ear and count to make sure it is even, but... <laughs> okay. Alright, so... I just want to double crochet in each of the next couple of stitches. And that takes me to the last one. And I will just complete one single crochet. Then I will pull up my loop like so and cut off my ends and I am done with yellow. Next I'll be moving on with my next color which I'm not sure if it's green or red yet. Alright so this is what we have at this point and I'll just cut off my yellow thread because I'm done with that. This end will get I will weave in later. Okay, so starting on this side where my latch is, I will grab my next color, which is red. Okay, so with my red, my second color, I am going to make a loop. And I'm going to start right in that, I'm going to start right here, right in the base of that slip stitch, or actually that was a chain one, so right in the chain one, in that single crochet space. So right before the chains, right before these five chains, so in the single crochet that was before the chains, is where I'm connecting my red. And I will chain one, and then into the chain one space I will make a slip stitch like so, and then two single crochets, one and two, two half double crochets, so you wrap your yarn around your hook like so, you go under the loop, hook, pull up and pull through all three loops, one, and then one more half double crochet. Okay, like so. Now, now three double crochets. That's one. two and three double crochets and that's one side of our petal now we're gonna work the other side so we're going backwards so now three double crochets one two three now two half double crochet so that's one oops, two two single crochet one and two and a slip stitch okay and that finishes the first petal so this is your first petal now for the center for the center petal
Okay, for the center petal now, slip stitch into that chain, next chain space. Okay. And then one single crochet. And another, so that's two single crochets, two half double crochet, my gosh this thread is giving me so much grief, so that's one, and two half double crochets, then two double crochets, that's one double crochet, two double crochet, three treble crochet, so you wrap your yarn around your hook twice, hook the yarn, pull through, pull off two loops, hook the yarn, pull through, pull off another two loops, and then hook the yarn and pull through the last two loops. So that's one. And two. And one more. And three. So that's three treble crochet. And now we're going to work the other side. So again, three treble crochets, that's one, two, and three. Now two double crochets, whoops, one and two, now two, sing two half double crochets, one, two, two single crochet, one and two and a slip stitch and then slip stitch into the other chain space and then you're gonna work the last petal so the last petal will be the exact same as the first one so it's gonna be two single crochet two half double crochet, three double crochets, then three double crochets, two half double crochet, two single crochet, and a slip stitch. Go ahead and do that and I will meet you at the end of this petal right here. Okay, so coming up to the end of my last petal, I have done my slip stitch into the chain five space. And then I'm going to just slip stitch into the top of that um, single crochet right there to end this round. I'm just going to slip stitch and then pull up a loop and cut off my end at this point because I would be done with color number two. Okay. So just like that. And now with my third color which would be the green. Okay. So at this point, working from this side also. And the only reason why I'm stressing that I'm working from this side each time is I want to determine where my left and right side is. So when I put my earrings on, they're both facing opposite sides. 
so I have a left side and a right side and not end up with two right sides or two left sides so we when I started this one I started with this the side with the latch so when I begin when I do the second one I'll start always each color I start I will start on the side on this side so when I'm done both earrings I will definitely have a left side and a right side just follow follow what I do and then it will make sense to you if you start both of them on this side you're gonna end up with both earrings facing the same direction and we do have a wrong side and a right side so you want to make sure when you put your left earring in it's facing that way and when you put your right earring this in it's facing this way so you don't have one turn backwards I just hope that makes sense anyways with my third color and also starting on that side I am going to make a loop and with the third color I will start right here so this is probably the stitch before where I started the red so I'll slip stitch into that space and then I have I know I have a whole lot of tails to work in later but anyways so I'll slip stitch like so and then I'll work into each stitch just trying to get into that slip stitch it's a little bit tight but okay and then I'll work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around the red so just around the, the edge of the red crochet the red um petals just like that all right so this round is pretty easy just one single crochet into each stitch so you're gonna go ahead and complete that when you get to this point between the two petals then I'll show you what I do all right so at this point between the two petals where the slip stitch is I am going to make a slip stitch and then I'll move over to the next uh, slip stitch and I will just put one single crochet and then keep going one single crochet into each stitch all the way across until I get Alright, so I slip the only place I slip stitch is right whoops. The only place I slip stitch was right here between the two petals. So it's one single crochet in each stitch. And then when you get between the petals right here, you'll put a slip stitch. Then one single crochet one one single crochet in each stitch. All the way back up to this point. All right, so finish this round and then I'll meet you when I get here over to this point. Okay guys, so coming up to the end of this third petal, I am going to, right where we started, we ended our red with a slip stitch. We're gonna do a single crochet into that red, into the slip stitch of color number two. We'll call it that, because you may not be using red like me. And then on this side, we started with a slip stitch in the yellow. So we're going to end with a slip stitch in that first color to anchor it right there. Slip stitch, then I'll pull up a loop to cut off my green because that is where I am finished with color three. So at this point, 
the only thing left to do here would be to weave in my ends well after I stretch out my thread the only thing left to do would be to weave in my ends and to add some security this is this part is optional you can add a little bit of nail glue or super glue to the tip right there and just slide your thread right on top of it so you know it will stay in place and it won't move I have misplaced my super glue so I can't show you but like I said that is optional but this would be what your first earring would look like well the first side and basically all you'd have to do at this point would be to just you weave in the green into the green, weave in the red into the red, weave the yellow into the yellow. And that's pretty much it. Next thing you would do is make your second hoop. Okay, okay so what I like to do at this point, instead of doing the whole measuring again and eyeballing and guesstimating, what I like to do is take my finished side and then um, line my working side well the side I'm still working on line that one right on top of it and use it as a guide to mark out where my petals are gonna go I know for to begin I'm I'll gonna I'm gonna move down seven so I'll count down seven and then I'll put a stitch marker where my seventh stitch is. I'm just trying to run through this real quick. I haven't counted them down, but let's just say it's right here for now, based on the other one that it was sitting on. So what I do is I'll put my stitch marker there. And then for the next one, for the next stitch marker, I will just uh, keeping them lined up. I know that it's right here, so I'll put it right here. I'll put the next one right here. Based on the other, the finished earring. So that is what I would use as my guide to mark out where my petals are going to go for my second earring. That's just about what I would do. You can, you know, go back to measuring if that works for you. You know, finding the center and dividing that point by... To find the center of that point, like we did for the first one. But I'm just saying, for me, this is how I do it when I'm making my second one. So I'd put a stitch marker right there and then I'd put one count down seven and put the other one. So that's what I do. You can do that if you want to or you can just go back to how we did the first one. Totally up to you. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and finish this earring and then I'll show you what, what mine looks like when I'm done. So keep working and then I guess I'll show you mine in the end. Okay guys, so I have completed my pair of earrings. I just have a few more ends to weave in. But this is basically what it looks like. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will try to make some more earring videos. But don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in another video. Bye!